Anthony Edwards outduels Nikola Jokic as Wolves take Game 1. In a thrilling Game 1 of the NBA playoffs, the Minnesota Timberwolves pulled off a stunning upset by defeating the top-seeded Denver Nuggets. The star of the night was none other than rookie sensation Anthony Edwards, who outdueled MVP candidate Nikola Jokic to lead his team to victory. Edwards, the number one overall pick in the 2020 NBA draft, has been a revelation for the Timberwolves this season. The 20-year-old guard has shown flashes of brilliance throughout the year, but his performance in Game 1 was truly special. Edwards finished the game with a career-high 42 points, including several clutch baskets down the stretch to seal the win for Minnesota. But it wasn't just Edwards' scoring that stood out in this game. The young guard also showcased his defensive prowess by hounding Jokic on the defensive end. Jokic, who is widely regarded as one of the best big men in the league, was held to just 20 points on 8 of 22 shooting by the tenacious defense of Edwards. The rookie's ability to stay in front of Jokic and contest his shots was a key factor in the Timberwolves' victory. In addition to his scoring and defense, Edwards also made several key plays in the closing minutes of the game to help secure the win for Minnesota. With the game tied in the final minute, Edwards drove to the basket and drew a foul, sinking both free throws to give the Timberwolves the lead. He then came up with a crucial steal on the defensive end to deny the Nuggets a chance to tie the game, sealing the victory for Minnesota. After the game, Edwards was understandably ecstatic about his performance. I just wanted to come out and be aggressive, he said. I knew I had to step up and make plays for my team, and I'm just glad we were able to come out on top. But Edwards wasn't the only hero for the Timberwolves in Game 1. Veteran point guard D'Angelo Russell also had a standout performance, finishing with 25 points and 10 assists. Russell's ability to control the pace of the game and find his teammates for open looks was instrumental in the Timberwolves' victory. On the other side, Jokic did everything he could to try and carry the Nuggets to victory. The Serbian big man finished with a triple-double, recording 20 points, 15 rebounds, and 10 assists. But he struggled to find his rhythm against the suffocating defense of Edwards, and ultimately, it wasn't enough to overcome the Timberwolves. Despite the loss, Jokic remained optimistic about his team's chances in the series. It's just one game, he said. We have to regroup and come back stronger in Game 2. We know we're capable of playing better, and we'll be ready to bounce back. The Timberwolves, on the other hand, are riding high after their Game 1 victory. Head coach Chris Finch praised his team's resilience and composure in the win. I'm proud of the way our guys battled tonight, he said. We knew it was going to be a tough series, but we showed that we're not afraid of the challenge. We'll enjoy this win tonight but we know we have to stay focused and keep working hard to continue our success. As the series shifts to Denver for Game 2, all eyes will be on Anthony Edwards and Nikola Jokic to see how they respond to their Game 1 performances. Will Edwards continue his hot streak and lead the Timberwolves to another upset victory, or will Jokic bounce back and help the Nuggets even the series? One thing is for sure, this matchup between two of the NBA's brightest young stars is must-watch basketball.